Ken called me Wednesday. He said, hey, do you think you want to teach or share Sunday morning? And I thought, well, I, you know, I was working hard, practicing the songs, and I felt not so nervous. But now, not so much. <laughs> but he was really loving. confidence and then he told me you know just don't screw it up <laughs> okay thanks Ken but I'd had some things that uh, God had really been working in my life my heart teaching me from the word and as soon as he said that I said well I know what I can share and uh, I kind of titled it the fires of life seen a lot of things, and I know we all feel this all the time. We always see God's grace and God's goodness, and uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to know why. Why do we see so much junk all the time? And how does this whole thing work? How is this life thing going to work? Because we're moving away, and we're, I'm going to, you know, I live in the neighborhood with my parents, and I'm taking my whole family away, and now i got to man, so to speak, or whatever, I don't know, I'm just away from the comfort zone. So I really needed to know, how do I trust God? How do I walk through life? How am I going to face these things with my wife, my children, bring my family up, bring my, you know, daughters up into God, and, and, uh, and how do I just totally rely on you? That's what I wanted to know. Um, and in Colossians chapter 1, I started seeing thought this was amazing practical advice for me. In verse uh, 9, this was the prayer, of, you know, that this is what God desires for our life. And this is a great little practical advice that I just really saw and I said, you know, I can hold on to this. I can grab this. Um, verse 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. I thought, okay. I know I'm going to confront situations. God wants me to be filled with the knowledge of his will. So how do I deal with this? Well, I can go to his word. He can show me promises to overcome, to be more than a conqueror. I can go to him through the spirit. He can reveal the solutions. Uh, you know, there's, I can just, God will reveal what his will is in any situation that I can confront. So he wants us that we're filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and all spiritual understanding. So we, I, I can understand the spiritual aspect of what's going on. I can know his will and the spiritual understanding of the situations that I can confront in life. And I thought, okay, well that's cool. And then it says, so that you might walk worthy of the Lord, unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So I'll be fruitful when I know his will, I have the spiritual understanding, and so I can walk pleasing to the Lord and be fruitful in my life. So I can figure out how to navigate this whole thing. And uh, then this verse 11, and it, it kind of, you know, I had to think about this one a little bit. It says, strengthen with all might according to his glorious power. So how powerful is God? Strengthen with all might According to his glorious power, unto moving the mountains and raising the dead. No. I thought, all 
all of his power, my, I could, you know, walk into the hospital and go through the morgue and people start popping up. <laughs> unto all power, or according to his glorious power, unto all patience. He's going to fill me with his, all of his glorious power, all of my might, to be patient. And have long suffering with joy. Why do you want me to be so patient? <laughs> but isn't it the reality in the midst of the situation? face things and it's oh this is intense this is intense God where are you where are you well how much does God love us a little bit a lot it says as high as the heavens are above the earth that's how much he loves us how high are the heavens it's really a figure of speech there's no that's how great his love is. So when you're in the middle of these situations, we're confronting it, we're going, God, God's love is there. But he wants to strengthen us with all of his glorious power and patience and long suffering because we know his will. Like it says, we know his will in the situation. We have the spiritual understanding. We understand that we are more than conquerors. Through Christ, in the midst of the situation, then he's going to strengthen us with all might, unto all patience, and long suffering, with joy. And I was like, okay, that makes sense, because, you know, I've seen it a lot. I've always seen God come through. Uh, let's go to Isaiah chapter 40. This verse just really, really, really just spoke to me when I was reading that section in Colossians. Um, and something else that really spoke to me was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, I've thought of a lot of examples in the Old Testament where God delivered people. He, uh, you know, he, he did a lot of crazy things. He's, you can't really put him in a box of how he can deliver. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were there, confronted with the fire, confronted with Nebuchadnezzar. And, you know, the ground didn't open up and suck Nebuchadnezzar's guys. And Nebuchadnezzar repented right then. His bees didn't come and chase the soldiers away. Somebody had to turn to a pillar of salt. They went into the fire. <laughs> Why'd they go into the fire? You know, God loves them. And they were trusting God. That strengthens me to go and have some patience right there. They went into the fire. But they came out with the smoke. Chapter, chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. See that patience and waiting on God to deliver. Confronted with the fires of life. Waiting on God. We know his will. They shall renew their strength. Amplified, Amplified Bible translates it the renew. Uh, they shall
shall change their strength. New American Standard says, you shall gain new strength. You see, the, the trials, the confrontations, and seeking God's will and understanding what the spiritual aspect is and then waiting on the Lord, God strengthening you, strengthening you with all his might and through patience, then seeing God deliver, you gain a new strength. That's God's plan. He takes what the devil does. God didn't put him in the room with the fire. Nebuchadnezzar was lifted up with pride so much he built the golden image to himself. That was the adversary that put them there. But see, when the devil puts us in these situations, God uses them, fills us with patience, gives us the understanding, delivers us new strength. We're strong. And now he takes the, what the devil does and turns it on us. Because when we're stronger, we can see more do more, deliver more, and raise people's believing for their situations to see more. They get stronger, and it just keeps going. Woo! Then it says, they shall mount up with wings as e eagles. They shall run, not be weary. They shall walk, not faint. Do you think when they came out of the fire, they got weary? <laughs> They were high as a dang kite. <laughs> they were not going to faint. They were on fire. <laughs> Spiritually on fire. <laughs> but look at what happened. Nebuchadnezzar, that was it. You know? Everybody worships that God now. What a great testimony then. You know? And they waited on the Lord. They got delivered. And that's the same thing for us. It's it. We seek God. We seek the wisdom. We seek the spiritual understanding. And then he strengthens us with patience, long-suffering, with joyfulness. When we, and we see him get delivered, we gain new strength. We'll run. Go to Romans chapter 5. And I just was totally blown away because I just really have, you know, I'm 33, about to be 34, right? you know, I'm just now feeling like I'm becoming the man, I guess. Uh, but I really needed to know how to do this thing. God just really just lovingly showed me. You know, and started showing me examples in my life. Of how he delivers and delivers and delivers and delivers. And it's just really it's showed me and given me new strength. And I was like, okay, I need to start doing this more. Continue to look to God and say I'm being very delivered. Um so when we do confront these things. We've seen the fire. We've been in the fire. We've been delivered. We've gained a new strength. Chapter 5, Romans, verse 3. Not only so, but we glory in the tribulations. All right, here we go again. Praise God. Here we go. Let's go into this fire. Knowing that tribulation works Patience works the experience. We got it. We got the experience. Now we know. We see. Okay. Here, here's something else. It's nothing. God took care of this other one. Like it was nothing. And experience hope. We have hope in the situation. We have the experience from before. And we have the hope for the outcome. We can see it. And that hope makes
makes us not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. And man, when God just totally uses, like, like my girls and Dang it, Mary. Just making me cry. Uh, with my girls and just seeing the deliverance that we've had in their lives. And, and even coming here, I, I really, I left them. And uh, my youngest, Tanner, she had a bad fever. It was Wednesday. And I didn't want to leave my wife sick in bed all day. And I just told God, you know, this is the point. I'm not leaving and having this on my mind. And um, I uh, just asked him, I said, well, how do I do this? He said, just ask her. I asked her, do you want me to pray? Yeah, because her head was really hurting. She had a lot of pain going on. I prayed for a minister to her and she grew up today. Just beautiful. And, um, you know, when you see God deliver time and time again in situations, the love of God. When you get out of that fire, especially, you say, oh my gosh, you say, thank you, God, and that love of God just flows, but thank you, guys. I love you all. God bless you.